Once dubbed the most dangerous toy ever, the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Lab is a unique and controversial artifact of scientific exploration. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most controversial and dangerous toys that either sold poorly or were taken off store shelves. Let me see. Number 20. Nestle Magic Balls Similar to the famous Kinder Surprise, Nestle Magic Balls consisted of a small toy surrounded by milk chocolate. What's inside the Nestle chocolate is? What's inside the ball that pops? What's inside the ball that pops is? Wow! It's Hercules! <gasps> it's Simba, Dalmatians, or Aladdin, all from Disney. They're hidden inside. While Kinder Surprise has long raised safety concerns, they are outright banned in the United States for containing a non-nutritive item at their centers, something that is strictly prohibited by the FDA. Nestle Magic Balls faced a similar fate. Many critics and consumer groups argued that the balls were dangerous, as the toys proved a significant choking hazard for young kids. After just a few years on the market, the Magic Balls were banned and pulled from circulation. They did eventually return, but they had been reworked and the toys were replaced with candy. Toy Story! I got Lion King, Mine's Dalmatian, lots of candy surprises, plus a sticker. Number 19. The American Girl Doll Experiencing Homelessness Launched in 1986, the American Girl line of dolls is an eight-time winner of the Oppenheim Toy Portfolio Award and has been included in the National Toy Hall of Fame. But it is not without its controversies. In 2009, one limited edition doll raised more than a few eyebrows. Her name was Gwen, and she was experiencing homelessness. Her name is Gwen Thompson, and it is uh, quite controversial because, Sharon, why? She is homeless, apparently, and lives in a car, and that's her, that's her backstory. Some people praised the inclusive message, but others were not so moved. Gwen stirred quite a bit of controversy in the press, with some advocates fearing the doll would send the message to children that homelessness is something accepted in society and that it's okay. I find the whole concept to be extremely disturbing, and it's not a doll that I would ever buy for a child. No, I don't even see why you would make a homeless doll anyway, unless the homeless doll was going to benefit the proceeds to homeless people. The fact that Gwen was sold at almost $100 didn't help the company's case. Number 18. Mini Hammocks who doesn't love lounging between some trees on a hot summer day? As their name suggests, mini hammocks were just smaller versions of regular hammocks made for children. There was just one problem. These hammocks were made without spreader bars. And without spreader bars, users were getting tangled and suffocating in the rope-like material. To keep your baby safe, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that babies be put to bed only in products that meet federal safety requirements for infant sleep, like a bassinet, a crib, or a play yard. Twelve tragically lost their lives between 1984 and 1995 after getting stuck in these hammocks, prompting an enormous recall to be issued in May of 1996. Said recall affected 10 different manufacturers, and over 3 million mini hammocks were pulled from the market. Well, sadly, a lot of parents don't know about the dangers or even the recall. And some say it's the companies behind these products that are to blame, that they're not doing enough to warn parents. Number 17, Battlestar Galactica Colonial Viper. You know how virtually every small children's toy comes with a choking hazard disclaimer? Well, rules are put in place for a reason. And we have the Battlestar Galactica Colonial Viper to thank for this one. Mattel introduces the Battlestar Galactica Collection. You can imagine the Viper launch station against the evil Cylons. The Colonial Viper was a toy spaceship with many dangerous parts, including a small missile that could be fired at high speeds. In 1978, a boy tragically lost his life after firing the missile into his mouth and choking. Mattel was sued and the toy was swiftly removed from shelves. And from your own Colonial Viper launch station, you can attack Cylon targets with special Viper missiles that really fly. It also resulted in a new law, with all toy manufacturers being forced to issue the now ubiquitous choking hazard disclaimer. Number 16, Polly Pocket Quick Click. Polly Pocket is a popular line of dolls. Wouldn't you know it? Eventually acquired by Mattel. A major redesign of the doll occurred in 2004, when Mattel changed their clothing from stretchy rubber to hard magnetized plastic. These dolls were part of the Quick Click line. 
and the idea was that you could quickly change the doll by clicking their new clothes into place. Chic boutique, Polly. Try this. And a snap. Quick, click, Polly's new trick. Load it up with clothes that fit. Quick, click, take your pick. Unfortunately, the tiny magnets inside these clothes had a penchant for falling out. Not only is this a choking hazard, but swallowing two or more magnets can prove fatal. In fact, three children sustained significant internal injuries after swallowing the fallen magnets. Just like that, front to back, it's a snap! What a scene! New Polly Pocket Quick Click Pollywood Limousine Car. Millions of dolls were recalled, and Polly Pocket has gone through her fair share of redesigns since. Number 15. Battlefield Earth Action Figures Let's just say Trend Masters greatly overestimated how popular Battlefield Earth was going to be. Released in 2000, Battlefield Earth is a sci-fi epic based on a novel written by the founder of Scientology. Oh, I'll be damned. Often considered one of the worst movies ever, Battlefield Earth was not the early summer blockbuster it planned to be, and it didn't even manage to break even at the box office. Toy company Trend Masters made a series of action figures modeled after the film's characters, but given the turnout of the film, the action figures went the same way. The toy line lost the company a considerable amount of money, and they closed just two years later. Number 14, Talking Freddy Krueger Doll. Look, we love Freddy Krueger as much as the next person, but come on, Matchbox, this thing is scary. Look at those bulging eyes and those teeth. Gah! Matchbox made these Freddy dolls in 1989, around the time of A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child. Where are you going, piglet? <laughs> the party's just start. I know exactly what you're up to. However, much like Freddy himself, the doll attracted a significant amount of controversy from concerned parents, most of whom claimed that the doll was too scary and inappropriate for children. Luckily, he faced a better fate than the real Freddy. Rather than being burned alive, he was simply taken out of production and would eventually become a hot commodity on eBay. Number 13, CSI Fingerprint Examination Kit. The idea behind this toy from Planet Toys Inc. is quite fun and clever. Basically, it allowed fans of CSI to dust for their own fingerprints using a special dust that was provided in the kit. There was just one major problem. This dust contain asbestos, a highly toxic material. Asbestos is also a powerful carcinogen and is considered extremely dangerous when touched or inhaled. This resulted in multiple lawsuits, which caused Planet Toys to file for bankruptcy, and the company eventually went out of business in 2015. As always, I value your opinion, but I'm confident in our decision to move forward. Number 12, Django Unchained Dolls. Released in 2012, Django Unchained was directed by Quentin Tarantino and concerns a freed man who aims to rescue his wife from a malicious plantation owner. Whenever you're ready. We rode five hours so you could show off your stock. Let's get to it. The movie is filled with graphic violence and contains many disturbing themes related to America's dark past. Both the Weinstein Company and NECA made a series of dolls based on the movie's characters. However, these figures were criticized by some, including director Spike Lee and Al Sharpton's National Action Network, who argued that selling dolls based on human enslavement was in poor taste. Production was halted, and they were also removed from eBay for violating the site's policy on offensive material. Hey, little troublemaker. Hey, big troublemaker. Number 11, Happy Family Midge. Introduced in 1963, Midge became an iconic member of the extended Barbieverse, eventually marrying Alan, yes, that Alan, and having three children. Welcome to the Happy Family Real Sounds house. Listen and you'll see the dishwasher washing, cartoons on TV. Uh-oh, baby's all wet. Will the Happy Family, Ryan, ever get to bed? The kids were a part of the Happy Family line, which was released in 2003. Only one of them was still unborn. The youngest, Nikki, was packaged inside of a womb that could be removed from Midge's pregnant belly. Happy family, with room for one more. Dr. Barbie on a call. It's a girl. Changing table, a cradle and a doll. 
some concerned parents voiced issues with this doll, arguing that it promoted teen pregnancy and that a pregnant doll was inappropriate for children. They caused a loud enough uproar for Walmart to hear, and the company pulled all Happy Family Midge dolls from their shelves. Barbie herself has also come under fire, specifically Rollerblade Barbie, whose wheels were known to cause sparks. Rollerblade Barbie, only your skates flicker and flash. My friends, your friends, we all love the hottest trend. Cool Rollerblade. But Rollerblade Barbie, only your skates flicker and flash. Number 10, Toy Guns. The entire plot of A Christmas Story revolves around a toy gun and the main character almost shooting his eye out. It's something he was warned about and, of course, something we've all been warned about too. These things are dangerous, and not even just for the aforementioned reason. They are often mistaken for real guns, and since 2015, at least 245 people wielding fake guns have been killed by police. They also have a great penchant for injury. Both BB and paintball guns can leave nasty bruises. Even those little cap guns you get at the dollar store can cause some bad burns. Despite the danger and the statistics to prove it, these guys are still on the market. Number 9. Hoverboards While these toys are often called hoverboards, they're really more of a segue without the handlebar. These scooters have quite the learning curve, and many people have hurt themselves falling off. Pick any failed compilation at random, and chances are you'll see just that. Between 2015 and 2016, nearly 27,000 children were taken to the emergency room for injuries. But falls weren't the only problem. In July of 2016, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission recalled half a million hoverboards after finding that they posed a major fire risk. After nearly 100 incidents across the country, safety officials are warning the lithium battery packs in the scooters can overheat, catch fire, or explode. The battery packs inside the hoverboards were faulty, and they caused dozens of fires after overheating and bursting into flames. Number 8. The Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory Not only is this toy a mouthful, it's also radioactive. The lab was released by the A.C. Gilbert Company in 1950 and was designed to teach children about nuclear energy. As such, it came packaged with four samples of uranium ore and a Geiger counter. It's because it comes with three sources of radiation and four uranium ores that are also radioactive. Recent studies have shown that the toy was relatively safe, provided it was used and stored correctly. But relatively is the operative word here, and anything made for children containing uranium should probably be considered dangerous. But the big reason for this toy's failure was actually the price. These sets went for $50 in 1950, which is about $600 today. The reason it turns out wasn't so much concerns over the kit's radioactivity, it was that the lab was very expensive. Unsurprisingly, it sold less than 5,000 units and was taken off the market after just one year. Number 7. Burger King Pokeballs It was time for Pokemon the first movie and Burger King hoped to jump on the hype train. They produced some tie-in Pokeballs that, when opened, revealed one of 57 exclusive Pokemon toys. Now inside every Burger King Big Kids meal you buy, your kids not only get more of the great tasting food they love, they get Pokemon toys and limited edition trading cards from Pokemon the first movie. However, these Pokeballs proved horribly dangerous for young kids, and there were many reports of injuries and deaths in the news. After initially refusing, Burger King later agreed to a recall and ordered all of its restaurants to stop issuing the Pokeballs. Those who already bought one could return it to the store for a free order of french fries. Now, Burger King says children under three are the ones that run the highest risk of suffocation. They're asking parents to either throw away the balls or return them to any Burger King for a free order of fries. Millions of units were returned and over 20 million that were unsold were destroyed in the recall. Number six, magnetics. A great toy for budding architects. Magnetics is a construction toy that encourages creativity with steel bearing balls and small magnetic building pieces. Magnetics! You can make it with magnetics. You can move it with magnetics. The magic of magnetics is the motion of magnetics. But as we've learned, toys with small pieces are often incredibly dangerous, especially when magnetic. 
In April of 2007, the Consumer Product Safety Commission ordered the recall of over 4 million magnetic sets, citing one death and 27 serious intestinal injuries. And he needed emergency surgery for internal injuries. The Palmer family is suing the company that now distributes magnetics. The family's attorney says the original maker only recalled an old version of the toy. There were also reports of at least 1,500 magnets coming loose from the toys. The magnetic sets were eventually redesigned to improve quality control and magnet retention. Magnetics! Oh, no, let's see what you can do. Magnetics! The totally new extenders, flexors, curves, connectors, and lights. Number 5. Aquadots. A fun arts and crafts toy, aquadots are small plastic beads measuring 5 millimeters in diameter. And believe it or not, they are generally considered to be safe. What can you dot, then spray for fun that stays? Aquadots! That was at least until late 2007, when numerous countries announced a collective recall. And no, it wasn't for choking. A number of kids had fallen seriously ill after swallowing the beads, including two American youngins who fell into a coma. It was discovered that a cheaper plasticizer alternative was being used, and it turned out to be toxic. I'm very concerned because I have a little one. He's going to be eight and, you know, can't trust anything they're playing with now. The compound called 1,4-butane diol, when swallowed, is metabolized into a sedative hypnotic substance called gamma-hydroxybutyric acid. Needless to say, a swift and serious recall of the toy was ordered far and wide. The Consumer Product Safety Commission recalled 4.2 million aquadots because the Chinese factory that made them used a toxic chemical. Number 4. Sky Dancers A hugely successful toy from the mid-90s, Sky Dancers were a ton of fun. Sky Dancers! They're flying! Fly for me, just for me, Sky Dancers dance for me. These small dolls came with a pull string, and when yanked, the Sky Dancer would shoot off its base and fly through the air by way of a pair of foam wings. While the toy sold well, almost 10 million units were recalled in the summer of 2000 after safety concerns were raised. Hold the magic key and watch them dance and light up the sky. She looks like a dancing star. Sky Dancers had caused over 100 reported injuries with the foam wings lacerating faces and even causing temporary blindness after hitting people in the eyes. Number 3. Easy Bake Oven In the grand scheme of things, the Easy Bake Oven is not a failure. Over 16 million units had been sold by 1997, and November 4th has even been named National Easy Bake Oven Day. Look who's coming to make it great. Yeah, we're making something new with Easy Bake, really baking. I can bake a real cake. But really, any toy that uses a real heating element is bound to cause some problems. In May 2006, Hasbro released a new model that proved harmful for young users. The front-loading door was poorly designed, and hundreds of children got their fingers and hands stuck inside the contraption, even after a modification attempt. I was so scared. With the heating element on, this resulted in dozens of burns, many of which were quite serious and required hospitalization. Roughly a million Easy Bake ovens were recalled, and the faulty door was redesigned. Number 2. The Cabbage Patch Kids Snack Time Kid Few toys get as big as the Cabbage Patch Kids. Introduced in the early 80s, these dolls set the world on fire and were the hottest commodity for years. A swath of different iterations were eventually released, including the Snack Time Kid in 1995. She really loves to snack. Wow, she really chews. <laughs> her is so much fun. <laughs> this one had the ability to eat small bits of plastic food. The food could be inserted into the doll's mouth and small silver rollers would allow the doll to swallow the food. It worked like a charm. In fact, it worked a little too well, as the rollers would also catch things like fingers and loose strands of hair. Not great snacks if you ask us, and the plug was quickly pulled on Snack Time Kid. This is in response to reports nationwide that children were getting their hair and their fingers caught in the mouth of the Snack Time Cabbage Patch Kid doll. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Lawn Darts It's no surprise that throwing metal tip darts into the air and standing directly beneath them isn't the safest activity in the world. The lawn dart game that Snow had purchased was supposed to be played this way. 
the darts tossed underhand into plastic rings on the grass. Lawn darts have been the subject of intense scrutiny for a decade, with the FDA labeling them a mechanical hazard all the way back in 1970. They were still allowed to be sold, but only under strict conditions, and they were banned entirely from children's toy stores. In the 1980s, over 6,000 people were taken to the hospital with injuries caused by metal lawn darts, prompting their total national ban in December 1988. Well, I got uh, a bill in Congress, and I got it banned twice by the Consumer Product Safety Commission, and uh, a bill signed by President Reagan. Canada followed just a few months later and banned metal tip lawn darts in July 1989. Did you happen to get your hands on any of these toys? Let us know in the comments down below. New Sky Dancers, real flying dancers with magical wings and pretty dresses. Pull their magic star and they twirl and fly. Sky dancers fly. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.